Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast or ADSB. This is uh, an automatic dependent surveillance for airplanes. I already did several videos about this in the past, but uh, now it has been one year after I moved home and I installed a new app uh, setup. So I wanted to make a video. So ADSB is uh, this in an in image. You have the ATC controllers in the airports, you have the planes, you have satellites, and you have bases which are not in this image, like uh, the one in my home. And all these communicate in the same network to transmit the position of the planes in real time around the world. So, how can you build one of these bases in your home, like I did? If you go to FlightAware, which is a private company, you have others providing the same services like Ra Ra Radar24, um, how is it called, the other one, the ADSB Exchange, which, which is an open collaborative network. But uh, I went with uh, FlightAware, so I will talk about it. If you go with FlightAware, you will have two options. One is to build a P-Aware base so basically here you need a Raspberry Pi 2 and then you flash the system that they, they provide to you that contains the main script dump 1090 in a SD card and you just set everything with the antenna, the decoder and everything and plug it to internet and it's all automatic. It will transmit the data to FlightAware and you will have access to your own the detections of your antenna. But what's the downside, downside of this? You need a Raspberry Pi 2 used exclusively for this purpose. So the other option, which is the one I use, is to use a Raspberry Pi or another single board computer. In my case, I use an Orange Pi uh, 0 plus 2. In the past, I used Raspberry Pi 2, so they work exactly in the same way. So if you already have an Armbian or Raspbian, Linux system running in your SBC. The only thing you need is to use the apt-get command to install the software you need for this uh, ADSB base. And you can run this and your SBC computer is still available to do other things at the same time. So here we have the outputs in case you open one of these bases and create an user account in FlightAware. You can track like, how many positions you see per day, etc and you can see in real time the detections of your base. So what do you need for this? You need the single board computer like Raspberry Pi 2 or Orange Pi 0 plus 2. I can confirm with this two that it works well. And you need this radio decoder. Uh, this uh, decoder with the chip RTL2832U and uh, R820T2. I also confirmed that it works with the R820T, so not the second version. This is the one I used before. The T2 is supposed to have better signal, uh, signal to noise ratio and theoretically it can detect some more planes. I didn't feel a big difference, but actually it's the same price. It's just the company updated the model. So the old one, you don't find it anymore. You find the, the T2 now. So this stick usually is used to watch TV in your laptop or listen to digital radio or also analog radio, FM radio. But uh, it's, it can decode the, the, mess, the radio of the ADSB system. So it's the one we use here. You can use other chips or even the same chip with other sticks, but this is the one I used. So after you follow this procedure, to install your, uh, how is it called? To install your PiAware Pi system, which contains the dump 1090FA, which is a software that detects the planes. You reboot, you plug the USB stick with the decoder, and you will have the base running. Then you just need to claim your base. The, work, the system will already work without claiming, but once you claim, uh, FlightAware will start providing information about your detections. Now I go to my ADSB and you will see what I mean. Here's my user. Member since two years ago, 
etc. And uh, we see PyTaWire is running, FlightAware is running, and multilateration, which is a system to detect the distance of the planes, even if they don't tell you their position. It works by synchronizing with other bases. Here we see that I'm synchronized with 222 nearby receivers, which is very interesting because it means the clock of my Orange Pi is very precisely synchronized in time, uh, in terms of several millisecond precision. In that way, uh, if we have three bases that detect the same plane at the same time, even if the plane doesn't tell you what are its coordinates, the three bases can solve an equation and triangulate its position. So this is what MLAT or multilateration means. Then here we have our internet IP, etc. Here we have the daily detection, so we see there is some valley in the night. The red curve is the multilateration, the blue is the classical ADS-B. Here we have the number of aircraft or positions that we receive per day. Here we have the hourly average, so we see a maximum around between 10 and 11, it seems the, the highest uh, density of planes in my region. Then we have this map, so most of the planes for me are detected at south, southwest, between 80 and 160 kilometers. And I don't detect too many in the north northwest direction because actually my antenna is placed in this direction. So the home is between the antenna and the opposite direction, that's why we detect less planes. And here is a bar histogram of distances of detections. So mostly it's at less than 80 kilometers, some till 160, much less till 240 kilometers and almost nothing further than 240 kilometers. And then I have some rankings based on detections per month or positions detected per month. So let's go to see the, the real-time detection. So if you go to this website, liaise.dacdns.org, which is my personal website, now we cannot access it because I'm inside my own network. And this website is hosted in my home. So I just write my IP address on my server, plus dump 1090FA. Or, well, let's do it properly. So if you type in the internet liaise.dacdns.org, you will go to this page. You click to flight tracking, you click to the image, and then you get the real time detection of my base. So this is Europe, here is Belgium, Brussels is here, I live here in Liège, and these are the planes that are detected in real time. So what we can do here it's like show all tracks so for instance for this plane here it was detected when he entered this region and it has been on site of my radar till now and now it seems it's going out that's why it's like with a transparent color now it just started raining so it's possible the detection fluctuates sometimes while strong rain the detection is a bit worse but after the rain, it's much better because the surfaces are wet and they reflect much better the signals. Now, let's see what information is transmitted. I click at this plane, it's a DLH5U, so it seems from the DLH company, this is a tail number, I think. So what it transmits? Location. It transmits the position. So this is transmitted by the plane because this is an ADS-B plane. But if it was not, we can still get its position by triangulating with other bases, with the multilateration system. High ground status, the distance, ground speed, and uh, this is the atmospheric pressure at sea level. So the plane has a sensor, a barometer sensor, that uh, senses the air pressure at its altitude, but this is corrected to know what is the bar barometric pressure at the sea level at the place of that plane. Then here we have like the, this is the signal strength that our antenna receives. Now it's minus 15 dB. Let's say minus 3 
dB, it's very strong. It's when a plane is just over my home and minus 20 or minus 30, it's above the, about the threshold of uh, signal to noise ratio. And then we have some statistic parameters of uh, accuracy. Okay, so if we go back to my profile, before I had this running in a Raspberry Pi 2 and I live in a different location, much lower in uh, height. Now I live at 235 meters. Before I live in the same city as now, but uh, near the river, so it's like at 50 or 60 meter or over the sea, maybe 70 or 80, I'm not sure. But I used to catch many more planes because I live in a tall building, so I had no obstacles in front of me. And here, even if I'm much higher, I receive a bit less. Now, in number of planes, I'm around 1,600. I was around twice in the past, around 3,000. Mainly it's because my home here is not very tall, so the trees and the home surrounding are the real horizon, even if the, the planet horizon is much farther. So this is the, my one-year update of the new base, the Orange Pi P2 base. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. If you have some questions, you can post it in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye.